2018 Lexus LC500H, rakish, plush, fuel thrifty coupe review. What's new? The 2018 Lexus LC500H Hybrid GT should attract a good number of buyers because of its rakish styling, which is backed with solid performance. The somewhat controversial Lexus spindle grille looks good on the rear drive LC500H and the $96,510 model I tested does 0 to 60 mph in 4.7 seconds and it's an electronic limiter at 155 mph. It has a new generation multi-stage hybrid powertrain. There's a 3.5-liter gas V6 and two electric motor generators that develop a combined 354 horsepower and 256 pound-per-feet of torque. This is the first Lexus hybrid to use a compact, lightweight lithium-ion battery. The battery pack fits neatly between the rear seats and luggage compartment, which is rather small and has a high opening. Want more muscle? Well, there's also the non-hybrid $92,000 LC500. It has a 5-liter 471 horsepower V8 that develops 398 foot-pounds of torque and, says Lexus, the first 10-speed automatic for luxury auto. I didn't test the V8 version, but Lexus says it hits 16 4.4 seconds and tops out at 168 mph. The LC500 weighs less than the hybrid version at 4,280 pounds and delivers an estimated 16 miles per gallon in the city and 26 on highways. It sounds sexier than the hybrid version with that V8. Power shoots to a smooth planetary type continuously variable transmission that's too complicated to explain here. Sufficient to say they act together to provide the effect of 10 ratios and let a driver shift through the ratios with paddle shifters. You can choose various driving modes, including economy, normal and sport. Sport Plus via a dashboard knob. Normal is the best choice for regular driving. Sport Plus makes the car too aggressive for normal street driving, as if it should be on a racetrack. The car's seemingly mild thick owner's manual says normal provides an optimal balance of fuel economy, quietness and dynamic performance. I found little use for the paddle shifters, although they work well, if the mood takes you. The Lexus LC500H weighs too much to provide sports car performance, at least on a track, although its handling is quite good. The steering is quick at 2.6 turns lock to lock, although it's on the heavy side. I found handling is secure on such things as sweeping bends taken at above average speeds, and the powerful brakes work well, although I could tell that they're hybrid car brakes. The ride is supple, Although don't expect it to be as smooth as a Lexus sedan's ride. The LC500H has such rakish styling and luxury that I suspect many buyers won't care if car has the V8 or hybrid system. However, the front end is very low and thus might be easily damaged. Fuel economy, estimated fuel economy is 26 mpg in the city and 35 on the highway. That is pretty remarkable. Considering the rear-wheel drive LC500H weighs a hefty 4,435 pounds. After all, this is a GT car. It would be heavier, but Lexus uses aluminum for the hood, front fenders and door skins. Only the rear fenders are steel. Good aerodynamics also help to enhance fuel economy. For instance, the exterior door handles jut out a bit when you press the key fob to open the doors, then retract against the body when the door is shut. Also, the car's underbody is almost completely smooth for less wind resistance. Both LC models require premium fuel. The LC500H has a 22.2 gallon fuel tank, while the LC500's tank holds a little less, at 21.7 gallons.